Understanding Diabetes Mellitus in Dogs. This video presentation was based on the writings of Jaina Beer, a freelancer contributor for WooPets.com and DogsBestLife.com. Almost all dogs that develop diabetes do so due to their metabolism. The disease manifests mainly through elevated blood glucose. Diabetes mellitus in dogs is caused by impaired insulin secretion of the pancreas, insulin resistance failure, or both. Diabetes mellitus is traditionally classified into two types. Type 1, in type 1 diabetes the pancreas is unable to produce or secrete insulin. This is the most common type of diabetes in dogs. Type 2. In type 2 diabetes the pancreas is capable of producing insulin but is impaired. Therefore, it does not make enough to meet the needs of the body. This frequently occurs in overweight and obese pets. If the disease is not treated immediately, the condition will gradually get worse. The disease also leads to cataracts and urinary tract infections, malnutrition, ketoacidosis, dehydration, and ultimately death. Diabetes in dogs can occur at any age, however, it mostly occurs in middle age to senior dogs. Diabetes is more common in overweight or obese dogs. Dog breeds such as Dachshunds, Poodles, Schnauzers, Cairn Terriers, and Springer Spaniels are at a higher risk of developing diabetes. Other dogs that frequently develop diabetes include Cocker Spaniels, Shepherds, Collies, and Boxers. What causes diabetes in dogs? The pancreas can no longer produce enough insulin. Diabetes also can be classified as insulin antagonist or insulin resistance. Either condition keeps the body from properly using insulin. Secondary diabetes can be caused by the use of steroid drugs, sex hormones, and pregnancy. It also can be a complication of other medical conditions such as Cushing's disease. Environmental factors and inadequate diet that can lead to obesity are the main cause of diabetes mellitus in dogs. Other genetic disorders, or chronic pancreatitis can also cause diabetes. The clinical signs of diabetes mellitus in dogs are the following. The first three diabetes clinical signs are drinking more water than usual, unexplained increased appetite, excessive urination, feeling exhausted or lacking energy, Pets will become entirely apathetic and no longer eager to run or walk or participate in games. Watch for signs your dog is sleeping more than usual. Weak back legs. Watch for signs your dog is favoring his back legs or moving unnaturally. Breath that smells or has an unusual chemical odor. Fruity or sweet-smelling urine. Some other manifestations include weight loss, weight gain, restlessness, tremors, and thin or dull hair. Let's now discuss the clinical signs of untreated diabetes mellitus in dogs. Eye issues. Diabetes mellitus in dogs can cause cataracts or cloudy eyes, leading to blindness if not treated promptly. High blood glucose which is known as hyperglycemia. Kidney failure. Excessive glucose damages the kidneys. The dog's kidney becomes overworked, and the kidney's nephron or filters cannot handle the sugar. This causes kidney dysfunction. Other common clinical signs of untreated diabetes mellitus in dogs include urinary incontinence or the loss of bladder control, vomiting, urinary tract infection, chronic skin infections, and in extreme cases, loss of consciousness and coma due to hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. The diagnosis of diabetes is generally fairly simple and is based on three criteria. Number 1. The clinical signs of excessive thirst, excessive hunger and frequent urination. Number 2. Increasing levels of glucose in the blood. This condition is known as hyperglycemia. Number 3. Glucose in the urine. We call this condition glucosuria. Normal blood sugar levels for humans are 80 to 120 mg per deciliters and can rise to 250 to 300 mg per deciliters for people with diabetes. Sometimes people with untreated or unregulated diabetes can show higher values than 300 mg per deciliters. However, for diabetic dogs, blood glucose levels are higher and can rise to 400 to 600 mg per deciliters. Some diabetic animals will have extremely high blood glucose up to 800 mg per deciliters. 
Diabetes in dogs can be treated but is most successful when caught early. Treatment depends on which type of disease is present and the specific characteristics. Treatment options include insulin therapy, regular exercise, and adjusting to an appropriate diet. A healthy diet is a very important component of the successful treatment of diabetes mellitus in dogs. Work with your veterinarian to develop an eating plan for your dog that most likely will include meals at set times and few or no treats. If your dog requires insulin injections, you will need to feed him before giving the injection. Most veterinarians recommend a high-fiber diet that is easier to digest and helps stimulate insulin secretion. Increasing daily exercise also will improve your dog's response to insulin treatment. Consult with your veterinarian to determine the right amount of exercise for your diabetic dog. Be sure to monitor your dog's water intake to make sure he's drinking enough but not too much water. Diabetes comes from many different and complex causes. An appropriate diet and regular exercise, avoiding excessive weight or obesity, will help reduce diabetes risks. Diabetes mellitus is a metabolic disease of dogs. Insulin resistance is one of the precursors of diabetes in dogs. In dogs, diabetes mellitus can produce cataracts, urinary tract infections and ketoacidosis. Diabetes mellitus tends to affect mostly obese dogs. Diabetes mellitus can be produced by chronic pancreatitis in dogs. Excessive urination is one of the clinical signs of diabetes mellitus in dogs. Kidney failure in dogs is one of the consequences of diabetes mellitus. Insulin therapy and diet are the recommended forms of treatment for diabetes mellitus in dogs. Insulin injections are given after the dog has been fed by the owner. Understanding Diabetes Mellitus in Dogs